Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Adventures in Vino with me, Katie. Uh, so tonight I'm going to be trying a rosé wine. This is Gerard Bertrand's uh, Gris Blanc 2020. Um, so I don't know if you've heard of Gerard Bertrand, but he does um, also have the wines, uh, the Cotes de Roses, um, the rosé wa uh, wines with the um, rose on the bottle, bottom of the bottle. Yes, so uh, this wine actually comes from the south of France. Uh, it's going to be more of a dry wine. Um, most of the rosés that I've ever had are more on the dry side. Um, there's also going to be a lot more acidity in there, so it's going to uh, dry your mouth out a lot. Um, so the varietals of this wine are a Grenache and a Grenache Gris. Uh, the Grenache is one of the most widely um, planted red grape in this world. Um, it ripens late, so it needs uh, the hot, dry climate, um, such as the south of France. Uh, it has more of a flavor of like a very spicy berry. Um, and then the Grenache Gris is more of a sweeter berry, so it's going to be interesting to see how they combine together in this wine. Um, so the aromas that you're supposed to smell in this wine is going to be um, like a red berry. So I'm thinking like a red raspberry strawberry or uh, maybe even have some pineapple in there. So I'm going to go ahead and smell it and see what I smell. I can tell it's going to be a dry wine. Um, I definitely get the um, the pineapple in there because it has like a, a somewhat of like a mellow um, tone in there but also I do smell like the red berries so I'm excited to try it. So it is very, uh, it is very dry, less on the sweet side. Uh, it has a lot of um, acid, like acidity in there. Um, so I do get the pineapple flavor because it does tend to mellow out um, the, the taste of the red berries. Um, so they do have like a tartness from the red raspberry in there, which I find quite um, amazing. It's really good. So I would definitely recommend this wine because it is um, it holds up to some of the rosés that I've had in the past so it's very good. Um, you can pair this wine with anything like a pasta dish or um, with something like a lean fish um, and then they also use it as an aperitif. Uh, I didn't know what that was before but I read about it and it's something that stimulates your appetite and yeah so very interesting. Um, I do recommend this wine. It wasn't too expensive either. It was $14.99 at my local grocery store. So thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh, if you have any comments or you want me to try anything next, definitely let me know. Have a great night. Thank you. Mm.